Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has refused to rule out a May election. The PM had previously mentioned that his working assumption was an election in the second half of the year. However, he's since failed to repeat that formulation. And we also hear today that former Prime Minister Theresa May will be standing down at the general election. I'm pleased to say that joining me now is political columnist at The Sun, Trevor Kavanagh. Welcome, Trevor. Great to be with you. Good morning and welcome back from the battlefield. Thank you very much. On to another <clears> one. <throat> uh, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think there is going to be an election in May? Is it going to be ruled out? What do you foresee? Well, if Rishi won't do it, I think I can rule out an election in May. Um, having been very firmly steered away from that idea at the weekend, uh, because there are a number of things that want to be that uh, Rishi Sunak wants done before calling the election, mainly getting the economy visibly improving in such ways as uh, lower interest rates, lower mortgage rates, lower inflation, and with luck, a lower uh, bank rate. So <clears throat> all of those things are going to take time. And I'm not sure that the budget went down as favourably as they might have hoped. So I think you can pretty well um, forget about May of the 2nd. And do you think, I mean, this is all about just putting off the inevitable, isn't it? I mean, whether it's May, whether it's November, and the Tories are toast. I'm afraid that's true. And I think they know this, not just in the party at large, which has basically given up the ghost, and in the Tory party in the House of Commons, but in Downing Street too. They cannot be unaware of the fact that, you know, 20% in the polls is a catastrophe and that it's irreversible. The mood has now set in. And I think that what we've known in the past is that the result of a general election is usually known or formed in the minds of the voters about six months out. We are now about six months out. And I think the, the mind is made up, uh, the voters' minds are made up and we are going to see a heavy defeat. I mean, I think that the polls will narrow a little towards the actual election day as the campaign gets into way and people start looking a bit more closely at the Labour Party under Keir Starmer, which is profoundly lacking in any significant policies of any sort, economic, uh, military, domestic, uh, social and welfare. It hasn't put any, uh, any actual uh, detail into any of those areas. So uh, at the moment, what we're seeing is not a, a support growing for Labour, but a total desertion from the Tory ranks. Well, you said, uh, Trevor, that it's irreversible. And, I mean, I, I, I would tend to agree, but these, as I often say, are pretty long years uh, uh, at the moment, and an awful lot happens in one. Do you foresee anything that could happen in the next six months that could in any way change around the Conservative Party's fortunes? Well, I can tell you that I have been present during conversations with Conservative MPs about whether or not it's still, it's now too late to dump Rishi. I mean, that hasn't gone away. And frankly, I think the only thing that could change the dynamics of this situation would be under a new leader. But we've seen five Conservative leaders in eight years and it's gone down, not up. It's very difficult to imagine anyone suddenly taking the reins of this runaway horse and bringing it back to an even sort of keel. It's, it's just uh, out of control. And I think that an awful lot of Conservative voters are simply fed up with the failures, disappointments and broken promises of 14 years of Conservative Party rule. But, you know, um, Trevor, we've also just heard this morning that Theresa May is going to stand down uh, as an MP at the next election. Perhaps not surprising. Uh, she's been in, in Parliament since 1997. And uh, she's also, of course, uh, herself had a had a crack at being Prime Minister. But but it, it just I'm amazed when you say that there's serious conversations in the Conservative Party about dumping Rishi Sunak because, I mean, does the Conservative Party think that the country has an endless appetite for Tory wars? And isn't, isn't part of the problem that the Conservative Party base uh, keeps on giving the country, um, well, let me put it politely, duds? Well, this is unfortunately the case, and that's why I think that uh, there is this feeling that um, anything's better than what they've got at the moment, but that is not the case. I don't think there's any patience left within the uh, voting public, particularly within the Conservative Party, which is now across the nation sitting on its hands and waiting for something to happen. 
but they're not expecting anything now. It's too late. We are in the run-up to a general election. Another change of leader would simply portray the party as being utterly desperate and in a state of terminal chaos. So there's nothing there, and I don't think that there's any likelihood of Rishi Sunak doing anything dramatic during the remaining months of his premiership. Well, one final question, if I can, Trevor. Uh, I mean, you've you've uh, covered a lot of elections. I don't want to embarrass you by saying how many, but uh, you've, you've covered a lot. Uh, um, in your view, uh, are we talking uh, in the election this year about a Conservative wipeout on the scale of 1997, or is this like uh, the death of the Liberal Party about 100 years ago? It's very difficult to say. I, I, there's never been a situation quite like this. And uh, the advent of social media has distorted all the normal sort of mm. uh, guidelines that we would have followed back in the 70s and 80s. We are in a different world, a different landscape. And it's so easy for people to pick up on the sort of conspiracy theories, uh, the failures. Uh, nobody's looking at any of the successes of the conservative years, and um, there are good reasons for that. Um, so uh, I think that it, it, it could easily turn into a, a complete uh, uh, landslide for Labour. <clears throat> but on the other hand, uh, people who are much more expert in the way that polls work have told me that they've seen this before with Labour apparently leading right up to the election and then finding that they've lost or that the majority is much smaller. I think that's a bit on the optimistic side. Thank you very much. Trevor Kavanagh, columnist at The Sun. Great pleasure to have you with us.